I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on stem and leaf plot. We will try to analyze data of height of students in grade 7. The question here is, here is height in centimeters of grade 7 students, 141, 143, 145, 150 and so on. While this data has been arranged, you might get raw data which is not arranged. In that case, I'll appreciate first you write it in proper order and then create stem and leaf plot. Now, based on this information, we have four questions. The first one is, what is the range of height? B, draw stem and leaf plot. C, what is the median height? D is, what is the mode height? Now, these are four standard questions which you are supposed to answer from the given information. Now let us understand how do we answer these questions. So first thing is range. So what is range? Range basically is the difference of maximum and minimum. So do maximum minus minimum to get range. So if you look at this data, the maximum is 185. So we'll do 185 take away 141. So the difference will be 4 and 4. 44, right? So 44 centimeters is the range for the data. So that is the first answer. So for A, we get 44 centimeters. B, draw stem and leaf plot. So when you draw a stem and leaf plot, uh, let me sketch it here. What you really need to do is make a, a bifurcation for writing. Now we have three digits, correct? Remember one thing, uh, that is part A. Now let's look into part B. So in stem and leaf, what you need to remember is that the leaves are always numbers 0 to 9, right? So, so in this we have three digits, so this stem will be two digit, right? So, so what we get here is two digits for the stem, correct? So we leave that two digits for the stem. We can write here stem and leaf. Title goes on the top of it which is a must which is heights of grade 7 students. Units being centimeter. Correct. So, so that is the beginning. Since the data is properly organized, it is easy for me to fill in the information here. But normally, raw data will be given, you have to organize. So I'm trying to emphasize on this point, right? So what you do is that you place the only the ones place in the leaf part. So you have to divide the number like this, right? So ones place go to the leaf part and rest all comes to this stem. So the first number here is 141, we will write 14 in the stem part and that 1 goes to the leaf part. Then we have 143, 14 is already, already there, so we will write 3 here, 145, 5, 150, that means next, 15, 0 makes it 150, 153, 154, 156 then 163 so 16 comes here right 163 163 163 164 and we have 165 also and then we have 168 okay 172 that means 17 comes here too 174 176 176 
So we have 4 in 7, 170. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a good idea to check. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 18. So we'll write 18, 2, 2, 5. 2, 2, and 5. You get it. So it's a good idea to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we do have 20 points, 10 and 10. Perfect. So we have included complete information in stem and leaf chart as shown here. So that is the stem and leaf part. Now what is the median height? Uh, part C. To find the median, we have to find the center. Now we have 10. That means right in the middle, right? So 20 divided by 2 gives us the 10th item. So there are two numbers in the middle. One is the 10th item and one is the 11th, right? And then the next will be 11th. Median is in between, right? So let's count. So we have one here from the table, since I've arranged, 163 is the 10th item, 11th is 164, right? So if you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 and 11. So median is in between these two. Correct? So between 3 and 4, it is 3.5. So 163.5. So median is equal to, you could do like this also, 163 plus 164 divided by 2. So that gives you 163.5 centimeters. Correct? So that is how you get median. Now part D is to find mode height. Mode is most frequent. So what appears maximum number of times? So you'll see this: these three threes appear maximum number of times. So, so the mode is 163 centimeters. So you can note from here that mode is always the data point but median could be the information which is not given. Sometimes we find the average especially when we have even number of data elements. Perfect. So I hope that gives you a good idea how to analyze stem and leaf plot and provide information from it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.